And you're live here with Mac Attack in the booth. Brit 53 action. Martin Monarch from Regina taking on your St. Joe Guardians from Saskatoon. Tip going to the Monarchs. That man defense by St. Joe's here. Swings it up top to Ty Thompson. Ty Thompson left hand dribble into the lane. Swings it over. Carson Fox. We're going the other way here though. St. Joe's ball on the baseline. Nemo Arnold inbounding to Eli Kohler. Eli with the crossover looking inside. Nice pass. Finding Jackson Arn who goes baseline to the corner but he gets tipped out of bounds to Will Stianson. It's going to be St. Joe's ball on the baseline. 16 seconds remaining on the shot clock here. This is game seven of Brit 53. Both of these teams taking an, an L yesterday. They're on the B side. Trying to get to the B side final here with a win. Nemo Arnold with a three just off the back rim. Ty Thompson watches it go out of bounds as he boxes out the St. Joe's player and it's going to be Martin Ball going the other way. Swings it up. Carson Fox looks into the corner. Finds Adam Newton. Adam Newton swings it over. Left hand drive into the paint. Will Summers can't get it to go. Out of bounds. Still going to be Martin Ball here. 45 seconds into the first. No score. Carson Fox with the inbounds. Looking in the paint. Spins. Can't find it. Thompson up to Thompson. Can't get it to go. Still going to be Martin Ball. Reset on the shot clock here. Fresh shot clock. Still scoreless. Carson looking inside to Thompson again. Can't find it. St. Joe's with a good defense. Eli Kohler coming away with the ball here. Eli swings. Martin gets a hand on it. Swings it to the corner. Will Stianson. Yes. First bucket of the game. Will Stianson from the corner of the junior guard with the three ball. Kicks it out. Corner up top. Ty Thompson has the ball. He's going to take that shot every time. Good looking shot. Can't get it to go. Great rebound by Asher Elstead. And foul by Martin here. Let's see who it's on. Foul on number two, Lucas Geisler. First foul by either team. Three by Nemo Arnold. Just off the back rim. Good rebound by Ty Thompson. Martin switched into a zone there. Nemo taking the chance on the 45-3. Thompson into Thompson here. Cole Thompson going up and off the glass. Nice touch. We can't get it to go. Another rebound by Asher Elstad, but it looks like it's off of his leg, and it's going to be Martin Ball. 14 seconds on the shot clock. Asher Elstad had a great game last night. Mr. Double-Double probably had a double-double in the first half himself. Up top, Lucas Guys. Oh, sorry, that is Will Summers. Swings it to the corner. Ty Thompson with the three. Can't get it to go. Eli Kohler fighting for the rebound. Going the other way. Eli Kohler going up and off the glass. Right hand. Rebound by Ty Thompson. Ty Thompson being battled down low by a couple St. Joe's defenders, and he beats it. Goes behind the back. Looking up the court, swings it up. Finds his man, Will Summers. Will Summers goes left hand, paint drive. Kicks it over to Carson Fox for three. Carson Fox from the 45. Nice three pointer. We got a tie game, 3 3. Eli swings to the corner. Nice drive by Asher. Asher finds Cole Thompson. Kicks back out. Eli Kohler keeps his foot down. Nemo swings to the corner. Will Stianson for three. And he answers right back. Will Stianson. Matching three-pointer, we got a 6-3 game for St. Joe's here. Will Summers going left-handed, loses the ball. Asher Elstead gets nailed by Car Carson Fox. Going to be the second foul on Martin in the quarter. It's going to be St. Joe's ball on the sideline. Sub coming into the game, Cooper McKechnie for Martin. Coming in. Carson Fox coming out of the game. After picking up that foul. Nemo Arnold at the top, swings it over. Eli Kohler for three. Just off the back, can't get it to go. Good rebound there by Adam Newton. We're going the other way. Ty Thompson coming down the left side, being picked up by Eli Kohler. Right hand crossover to the lane. Good defense there. Cole Thompson too long in the paint. Three in the key. It's going to be Martin turnover, St. Joe's ball. All three pointers to start the game. 6-3 St. Joe's, three minutes into the first. Game seven of Brit 53. 
thanks for tuning in from home. And if you have the opportunity, the weather's great. Come on down to the Brit Gym. Check out the concession. I got a tab on the go. I'm afraid to know what it's already at. Had a, a couple Brit dogs, a couple Brit donuts, a couple Brit everything. What a drive by Ty Thompson. Up, finds the contact, makes the finish. And we got an and one here going to the line. See if he can tie it up with this free throw. At the nine, at the line, nice release, gets the roll, six six game. Eli Kohler surveying the D, looks like they're still in that zone. Swings to the corner, sees Will Stiansen and can't get it to go. Good rebound there by Will Summers. Will find Ty Thompson. Ty setting up the offense, being picked up early by Nemo Arnold. Swings it inside, finds Adam Newton. Adam back out. Cooper McKechnie for three, and he got fouled on it. He's going to shoot three here. Who's this foul on? Foul on number one. Eli Kohler is shooting three at the line. Number five, Cooper McKechnie for Martin. See if they can take the lead here with three free throws. He's good on the first. Cooper's got some nice free throw for him. He's good on the second. Two for two to start. One to go. Live off release. Just short. Good rebound there by St. Joe's. Great box out. By Jackson Arm. We're going the other way. Eli Kohler being picked up. They're still in the 2-3. Martin swings it over. Asher Elstead for three. Good rotation. Can't get it to go over the front of the rim. Come the other way is Ty Thompson. Ty sees his man slipping in the back door. Up and off the glass. What an alley-oop play. Great pass to Will Summers. Seeing him sneaking past the defense, and he rewards him with the alley-oop pass. 10-6 for Martin now. Nemo Arnold getting trapped in the corner. Looking inside, finding his man. Swings it out. Will Stianson. Pump fake. Gets the defender out of his shoes. Up and off the glass. Can't get it to go. Asher Elsett bats it away. But it's Cooper McKechnie coming away with it. Cooper right-hand drive up. Nowhere to go. Foul on the play. Foul on number two, Nemo Arnold of St. Joe's. Timeout to St. Joe's. We have 10-6 in favor of Martin halfway through the first quarter of Brit Game 7. Stay tuned with Mac Attack in the booth. Don't go anywhere. And we're back with Mac Attack in the booth. First quarter action, Martin Monarchs taking on the St. Joseph Guardians. An all Saskatchewan battle. Inbounds, Ty Thompson makes the save. Being picked up by Will Stianson on the 45 here. Just under the halfway mark. Nice move by Ty Thompson to go backwards through the legs into the lane. Can't get it to go. Rebound by Martin, though. Blocked down low by Asher Elstead. Ty Thompson comes away with the block. Gets his own rebound. Blocked by Elsher El Elstad, but... They are calling the foul. Foul on Nemo Arnold. That's the second foul of the quarter. St. Joe's is fourth. Martin goes to the line with a four point lead here. Ty Thompson just off the back. Nice stroke. Couldn't get it to drop. Let's see if we make the adjustment. Great shot by Ty Thompson, extending the lead to 11-6. 
Will Stanson running the show now with Eli Kohler on the bench, looking for Nemo Arnold on the 45, looking inside to Asher Elstad. Oh, good look. That's where you want to break that, pre uh, that zone with the 45 pass to the high post. He found Asher. Asher looked inside for his man. Couldn't find him, and it's out of bounds going the other way here. Great pass inside. Ty Thompson up and off the glass. Can't get it to go. Asher Elstad comes away with the rebound. Asher rips it. Finds Nemo on the 45. And he's attacking through the pro lane. Drives into the paint. Gets picked up down low. Looking inside for Jackson Arn. Taken away. We have a fast break here. Nice move. Up and off the glass. Can't get it to go. Will Summers having a little trouble with the finish. Really nice move. Will Stianson kicks it up. Shot. Javin Galara. Can't get it to go. Will Stianson with the offensive rebound. St. Joe's still in possession. Stanson loses it in the paint, and it's number 12, Adam Newton, coming away with it. Ty Thompson finding contact, going into the paint, up and off the glass. It's beautiful pass, beautiful finish. We have a nice and one play from Ty Thompson over to Cooper McKechnie, extending this lead to 13-6 and going to the line for possibly one more. Can't get the end one to go, but the offensive rebound goes Martin's way. Ty Thompson walked into a three-pointer. Yes. Yes, sir. Ty Thompson with the big three. Martin got everything rolling. 16-6 lead. They're in the bonus, and there's still two and a half minutes left. Asher Elstad between him and Nemo. Back and forth. Nemo puts up the three off the back rim, and the rebound goes to Ty Thompson. Nice athleticism there on that rebound. Hitting his man for the fast break. Can't get it to go. Asher Elstad with a contest up and off the glass. And a battle for the remain. Battle for the rebound down low, goes to the Monarchs. Good ball fake to get Asher out of his shoes. Up and off the glass. Nice try there by Chance to Skullchuck. Fast break, Will Stianson up and off the glass. Yes, beautiful pass. Great finish, good composure there. Great take by Will Stianson. Foul on number 11, Corbin Andre of Martin. We're going to the line for, for one here. And one can't go, but a nice offensive rebound there by St. Joe's, but an errant pass, and we're going the other way. Nice try there by Thomas Jewell. Great offensive rebound on the, on the glass. 16-8 now for Mar Martin. Two minutes remaining here in the first quarter. Ty Thompson receiving the screen up top from Caden Coletta. Nope. Rolls it off. Cooper McKechnie setting the screen. Switch. Ty Thompson drive right hand. Spin in the lane. Nowhere to go. Looking inside. Travel is the call. We're going the other way. St. Joe's ball on the baseline. See if they can cut this lead down before half, or before the end of the first quarter, my apologies. St. Joe's in the quarter, Luke Singh. Back and over is the call, turnover. These turnovers are mounting up and becoming costly here. Will Martin extend the lead or will St. Joe's shrink it? Exciting end of the first coming up. Ty Thompson, he plays a lot of minutes for this Martin team. Pull up three. Yes, he's feeling it. Back-to-back -back threes from Ty Thompson. He extends the lead to 19-8. Nice fast break to Asher Elstead. Defense is set. Up and off the glass. Yes, contact and the bucket. Asher Elstead from the fast break pass from Neil Arnold. And he gets the and one. 19-10 going to the line for one. Asher finishes the and one play, and we have a 19-11 lead for Martin. Ty Thompson pump fake. Defender had to uh, respect it. He's got the hot hand, but he finds his teammate inside. Instead, Caden Collette off the drive, and Caden with a nice high finish. Good crossover up top by Javin Galara, but St. Joe's loses it. Javin fighting for it down low. Martin comes away with it. Yes, number five, Cooper McKechnie. Cooper looks into the corner. Ty Thompson pump fakes. Big shot for three, can't get it to go off the back rim. Nice shot there by Corbin Andres, but just a little bit too much mustard. Nemo Arnold pulling up in the paint right at the free throw nine. A nice high post jumper there to cut the lead to eight. Let's see if they can keep it single digits or will Martin extend their lead? Ty Thompson, he's got the hot hand. 
Can't get it to go. A bit of a heat check. Asher with a nice headman pass to Nemo. Nemo looking in the paint. Swings it back to Asher. Good defense there by Martin. Back to Nemo in the corner. Nemo for three. Can't get it to go. Ty Thompson going the other way with a defensive rebound. Ty Thompson looking to attack. Can't find it. Kicks it out. Cooper McKechnie just short off the front. 24 seconds. There is no shot clock. 20 seconds remaining. Let's see if we get a bucket here by St. Joe's. Javin, is that? No, yeah. Javin Galara swings over to Nemo Arnold. Looking down low. Kicks it back out. Nemo in the corner. Nemo pump fake. Can't get it to go. Eight seconds remaining. Asher up top. Asher swings it over. Javin Galara. Javin with the drive. Travel is the call. Can't get the shot up before the travel. Three seconds remaining. Turnover. It's going to be Martin Ball. Will they get a shot off in time? They get Ty on the roll. Ty goes up. Shot at the buzzer. Can't get it to go. And no foul on the play. End of the first. We have Martin Monarchs from Regina with the lead 21-13 to 13 over St. Joseph Guardians of Saskatoon. Stay tuned. We will have action from the three-on-three -three tournament from the juniors of the Saskatoon City. Pay attention and uh, don't go anywhere for some great halftime interaction. We'll be back with the second quarter in a couple minutes. back on the floor for St. Joe's. Swings it over to Javin Galara for three. Can't get to go off the front of the rim. Battle down low. Comes away. St. Joe's with the ball. Javin pump fake. Gets the defender out of his shoes. Another pump fake. Swings it back to Eli. Eli at the top. Skip pass over to Asher Elstad. Saves it at the half by Nemo. Swings it over to Eli. Eli with the three. Just off the back rim. Can't get it to go. Good defensive rebound there by Martin. And we're going the other way with Ty Thompson with the ball. Martin coming out of the first with an eight-point lead. Coming into the second. Adam Newton with the ball, swings it up, finds his teammate, Kane Coletta. Caden looking inside, back to Adam, can't find it, goes off the hand, it's St. Joe's ball on the turnover. Eli bringing the ball up for St. Joe's now. Martin back into their 2-3 zone, they've got a man in the high post trying to break that zone. Swings to the corner, corner three. Yes, get it to go, Javin Galara. Ty Thompson tries to pump fake, gets the defender of his shoe, drives baseline, good spin, spin in the lane, Asher Elstead with the contest, and that is enough to get the shot off balance and defensive rebound. St. Joe's has cut the lead to five, let's we'll see if they can cut it down even more. Left hand drive into the zone, Eli Kohler swings it out, finds Asher Elstad. Asher spinning in the lane, gets smothered, goes for a skip pass, but it hits the rim. Ty Thompson comes away with the ball for the Martin Mon Monarchs, but Javin Galara picks his pocket down low. Javin up against Ty. Puts it off the glass, and it's a 21-18 lead for Martin. A quick swing of 5-0 five, five for St. Joe's to start the second half, and Martin's lead is down to three. Up and off the glass, can't get it to go. Tip back. Eli Kohler coming away with it for St. Joe's. Getting ahead of his man. Before they can set up the zone, looking inside to Asher Elstead. Can't get his layup to go. Gets his own rebound. Can't get it to go. Gets his own rebound again, and he puts it off the glass and in. We have a 21-20 lead. 7-0 run to start for St. Joe's in the second quarter. Chance to scowl truck in the corner. Finds his cutting man. Oh, nice try there by Kane Coletta. Couldn't get it to go over the front of the rim. And we're going the other way with St. Joe's. Can they take the lead here? Eli Kohler 
Swings it over. Asher Elstad for three. Can't get it to go. Nice defensive rebound by Ty Thompson here. They maintain the lead, 21-20. Headman pass, finds chance to Skalchuk. He takes a three, gets it to go off the right side of the rim. No good, but it's still going to be Martin Balls. It was off of number two, Nemo Arnold there. Will Stianson coming in the game for Nemo Arnold, and a couple subs here by Martin. Looks like Toby Babcock is in the game. Will Summers came into the game, and Cole Thompson came into the game for Martin as they hold a one-point lead here with possession. 14 seconds on the shot clock. Looking inside, gets knocked away. Eli Kohler coming the other way for St. Joe's. Martin setting up the zone. Looking back door for Asher. Nice cut from the back right corner. Back door lays it up and off the glass. And St. Joe's takes the lead here. They were down 21-13 to start. They have a 9-0 run to start the second quarter here. Looking inside. Good give and go. Oh, great play there by Toby Babcock with the giving goal with Cole Thompson. Couldn't get the finish, but I really like that play. Eli Kohler looking inside, good defense by Toby. Swings it to the corner, Will Stianson for three. Yes, Will. He's got a nice touch from that corner. That's his second three ball from there. Ty Thompson finds his teammate on the fast break. Oh, can't get the alley-oop to go, but it was a nice look. Will Stianson gets picked up early by Ty Thompson here. Will swings it back out, finds Asher. Asher's not afraid to shoot. Swings it back to the corner. Will, who just had a corner three. Oh, off the back rim, good rebound there by Adam Newton for Martin. Toby gets picked up early by Javin Galara. Toby looking inside. Looks like he was fouled there by Javin. First foul of the quarter, three minutes in. 25-21, we have a 12-0 run by St. Joe's to start this second quarter. Let's see how Martin responds here on offense. See if they can get their leader, Ty Thompson, a couple threes. Perhaps they can go inside to Cole Thompson. Ty with the ball, swings it over, finds his teammate, Will Summers. Will, dribble handoff, finds Ty, Ty comes back. Picked up early by Eli Kohler at the three-point line. Toby swings it over to Ty, Ty looking for the three, not there. Eight seconds remaining, contested three, up and off the glass. Can't get it to go, good block there by Asher Elstad. And coming away with it is Thomas Jewell, finding Eli Kohler. Eli, he's open, he sees Javin in the corner, Javin... Had the shot for a second, not there anymore. Thomas Jewell swings it to Javin. 14 seconds on the shot clock. Good trap by Martin in the baseline by Toby and Corbin there. Three with the shot clock running down. Off the glass, off the rim, can't get go. Defensive rebound by Ty Thompson. Fixed up by Javin Galara. Tries that sideline pass, almost picked off by Eli Kohler. It's gonna be St. Joe's ball, oh sorry, Martin's ball here. They're down four. Sub coming into the game. Thomas Jewell coming out. Jackson Arn coming in for St. Joe's. Ty Thompson swings it up top, finds his teammate. Toby Babcock swings over to Cole Thompson. Cole Thompson looking for a DHO, finds it, coming into the lane here. Will Summers finds Toby Babcock, eight seconds on the shot clock. Knocked out of bounds, seven seconds on the shot clock. Nemo Arnold coming back into the game here for Javin Galara. St. Joe's making the sub. Finding Ty Thompson on the inbound. Six seconds remaining. Up, Ty Thompson up and over the defender with a nice post up there. 23-25, St. Joe's with the two-point lead. Eli Kohler coming in, meeting, splitting the 2-3 zone. Looking inside, ran into a brick wall, otherwise known as Cole Thompson. We have a turnover. Good defense there by Cole Thompson to stand his ground. Ball coming in. Three and a half minutes remaining in game seven here at Brit 53. We're on the B side, Martin versus St. Joe's, an all Saskatchewan battle, and we have a great game so far, 25-23. It was 21-13 after the first for Martin. But you see a nice 12-2 run for St. Joe's coming out of the, the intermission. Eli Kohler, nice drive left hand, bit of a hesitation, finds contact off the hip, goes up and off the glass, can't get it to go, but he's gonna go to the line for two. First foul on Martin in the quarter. Eli can't get the first to drop, just a little short. He'll make the adjustment here. Add a little bit of legs. Maybe a little bit too much legs. Good rebound here by Will Summers, and we're going the other way. Ty Thompson finding 
Corbin Andres. Corbin looking inside to Cole Thompson. Cole, Cole met by Asher Elstad. Finds his teammate, though, Will Summers, who goes up and off the glass over the defenders. We have a tie game, 25-25. Three minutes remaining here in the second. Eli Kohler with the crossover, but we have an illegal screen set by Jackson Arn, and we're going the other way. Turnover, St. Joe's, Martin Ball on the baseline. St. Joe's in a man defense here. Ty Thompson versus Eli Kohler. It's been a, a very good championship matchup all day today. Nice corner three by Cooper McKechnie. Martin, who hasn't shot a lot of threes today, that's a big boost to their offense here. 28-25, two and a half minutes remaining. Nemo Arnold in the corner, swings it back out to Asher Elstead. Dribble drive into the paint. A little bit of contact on the shot. No call going the other way. No, it's going to be St. Joe's ball off of Martin. Nice battle down low. Corner, swings up to Eli Kohler. Over to Nemo Arnold. Back to the other side, Will Stianson. It's a nice inbounds play. Went right around the ring, right back to the guy who inbounded the ball. Martin coming back. Ty Thompson surveying the floor. Sees Cole Thompson sneaking in behind. Cole pump fake gets his defender up, but he can't get it up and over the rim. Battle down low. A little bit of a battle between some St. Joe's players there and the big man, Cole Thompson. Cole's like, that's my rebound. And I won't hear otherwise. Ooh, foul on 13, Cole Thompson. I guess he heard otherwise. 28-25 for Martin here, St. Joe's ball. Really nice battle here. All Saskatchewan battle, thanks for tuning in at home. And uh, if you have the chance, we have some really great weather. Why don't you come down, check out Brit Live. It's gonna get crazy here. We have some big games coming up. Fallon, St. Joe's, white ball. Fallon, Noah, Percival. Two minutes remaining here in the half. 28-25 for Martin. Ty Thompson gets it picked by Eli Kohler, and there's a battle right around half. We have a jump ball. Good defense. Possession arrow going towards St. Joe's. Let's see if they can tie it up or cut the lead. Arnold to inbound. Eli Kohler being met up high by Ty Thompson. Ty playing really good defense man-on-man -man here on Eli Kohler. Eli with the drive. Can't get it to go, but he does find the contact. He'll be going to the line here for two. Eli Kohler at the line for two. One for one to start, cutting the lead to two here. Martin up 28-26 over St. Joe's. And he goes two for two at the line. Good free throws there. He's made his last three. 28-27, one point lead for Martin. Ty Thompson comes in, setting up the offense. One on one with Eli Kohler. Can't get it to go. Picked up by Nemo Arnold, loses his dribble, kicks it out. Adam Newton looking inside, swings it to Will Summers. Will Summers out to Ty Thompson, and that's a big, big three-pointer for Ty Thompson. Inside to Asher Elstad. Contact, can't get it to go, getting his own rebound. No, no call, no bucket going the other way is Ty Thompson. Foul on number two, Nemo Arnold here. It's the fourth foul on St. Joe's, one more, and Martin goes into bonus. Possession arrow going towards Martin right now. They are up 31-27, and it's their possession. Time out by Martin. We'll be right back with the final minute of this Brit Game 7. Stay tuned with Mac Attack in the booth. You're here at Brit 53.
And we're back with Brent 53 action with Mac Attack in the booth. 31-27, Martin Ball. Can't get it to go. Looks like it was off of number two, Nemo Arnold. It's going to be Martin Ball, 14 seconds on the shot clock. they got a four-point advantage closing out this all Saskatchewan battle. First half here, one minute remaining in the second quarter. Cooper McKechnie into the quarter for Ty Thompson. Swings it in to Adam Newton, who can't get it to go. And we have Asher Elstead coming the other way for St. Joe's, leading the pass break. Swings to the corner. Neil Arnold can't handle the pass. Looking for Asher Elstead. He was cutting down low. Will Stanson comes away with it. Will goes behind the back pass. And Nemo, who hits the back of the backboard, can't get it to go. Javin Galara with the drive in the paint. Lots of contact. And the finish, 31-29. Nice finish there by Javin Galara. Ty Thompson swings it up, finds his man Cooper McKechnie. Cooper setting up the offense now. Cooper swings it over, finds Adam Newton. Adam back up to Ty Thompson. If he's got the look, he's going to take it. He's got a nice stroke. That's what Ty Thompson does, ladies and gentlemen. You give him any space, he's moving in. 34-29. Swings it over, Will Stianson in the corner. Ball fake, can't get it to go. Good collapse by the Martin defense there on the baseline. Big shot here, can't get it to go by St. Joe's. We're going the other way, but Asher Elstead comes away with a, a loose ball here. Three seconds, Asher with the drive into the lane. One second, Will Stianson, yes, at the buzzer, Will. That is a big three as he cuts the lead. 34-32 here, Martin with their lead cut to two at halftime. Stick around, folks. We've got junior basketball three on three. It's really good entertainment. We will switch the camera so that you can see. Stay tuned for second half action in this all Saskatchewan battle. Be back with Mac Attack after the break.
back in the booth. Mac attack, 34-32, halftime lead for Martin. Ty Thompson pump fake gets after Elsa out of his shoes, looking inside for his man. Carson Fox can't get it to go. Ty Thompson in the corner. Little jumper for two points, 36-32. Thanks for tuning in from home. Brit 53 action, game seven. Nemo Arnold looks to the corner, finds Asher. Asher's got no problem taking the three. Can't get it to go, though. Rebound, Will Summers. Ty Thompson swings to the corner. Finds his man, Adam Newton. Turnover going the other way. Eli Kohler finds Will Stianz, and Will gets him up and out of his shoes, but he can't get it to go. Offensive rebound. Asher Elstead swings to the corner, finds Eli Kohler. Eli tries to get the pump fake, can't get him to go. Ty Thompson closing in there on the 45. Baseline drive by Eli, finds Will Stianson in the corner. 10 seconds remaining on the shot clock. Out to Nemo Arnold. Nemo with the pump fake. Swings to the corner. Eli Kohler drive. Good job by Cole Thompson meeting him there. But it's off of Ty Thompson's hands. It's going to be Martin Ball with a brand new shot clock. Will Stianson. Looking inside, finds Asher Elson. Asher gets it blocked from behind, but he gets his own rebound up and over. Two point lead for Martin now. Nice put back by Asher Elstad. Swinging in. Adam Newton kicks it back out. Carson Fox swings to the corner. Finds Adam Newton. Adam up top to Ty Thompson, being met by Eli Kohler. Up top. Left hand drive by Will Summers. Kicks it to the corner. Carson Fox can't get it to go. Battle for the ball between Carson and Asher, and it looks like it's off of Asher. It's going to be Martin Ball. Good effort there by Carson to secure the ball. Eli Kohler matching up with Ty Thompson at the top. Ty with a three. He had a really good touch in the first half there. Couldn't get it to go. Swings it in, finds Ty Thompson. Nice pass there by his teammate. Number 12, Adam Newton finding Ty, cutting to the lane there, getting this lead back up to four. Eli versus Ty, we've seen it all day. Number one versus number one. Who's number one? Well, they both are, but Will Stianson for three. Can't get it to go. Offensive rebound. Eli Kohler. Eli for three. Gets it to go. Good three-pointer by Eli Kohler. The lead is now one. Barton up 38-37 as Ty Thompson passes it over half, finds his teammate. Will Summers, Will looking inside. Finding Adam Newton, who does a baseline drive, but gets rejected by the rim. We're going the other way. Eli Kohler finding Nemo Arnold, who swings it up to Will. Will pump fake in the corner, can't get it. Up top, Eli for three. Eli off the right side of the rim. Rebound by Cole Thompson, but we have a foul. Number six, Jackson Arn with the foul. We're going the other way, Martin Ball. Stay tuned. Up next, we have Riffle versus Carlton, another all Saskatchewan battle with a spot in the semifinals up for grabs. First, we have to get through this banger. 38 37, Martin leads. Ty Thompson with the travel there. Lots of contact, but travel first. 38 37, turnover, St. Joe's ball now. Eli Kohler being met by Ty Thompson up high, swings it to. Neil Arnold puts it in the corner. Asher Elsett likes that three from there. Can't get it to go. Rebound by Adam Newton. We're going the other way. Ty Thompson surveying the floor, looking for a deep pass. Swings it over. Finds Will Summers. Will looking back into Adam. Adam, right hand drive into the paint. Good defense there. Swings it to the corner. Ty Thompson gets Eli out of his shoes with a pump fake. Cuts in, tries to find Cole Thompson, but we're going the other way. Asher Elsett leading the break. Finds Nemo Arnold. Back up to Asher. Nice. Two-man game there on the two-on-one. St. Joe's regains the lead up 39-38, but here comes Martin. Ty Thompson with the nice sideline pass, but it was poked out of bounds. It's going to be Martin Ball. They're down one now, halfway through the third. Great all Saskatchewan battle we have going on here. Up top, Will Summers. Will, left-hand drive, gets to go off his shoe. Coming the other way here. Eli Kohler has the ball in the 45, pulls up for three, right in Ty's phase, can't get it to go. Good rebound there by Carson Fox. Carson coming the other way, finds Ty. Aaron pass, a beautiful save by Adam Newton. Will Stianson getting the ball though. Will cuts through the pro lane, 
around his defender, up and off the glass. Nice take all the way coast to coast for Will Stianson. Ty Thompson finding the fast break. Ooh, but an errant pass going the other way. It's 41-38. Subs coming in here. Number 11, Corbin Andres. And number five, Cooper McKechnie coming in from Martin. Baseline, Wilson Anson gets fouled there. Can't get the shot to go, but he's going to shoot two. See if they can extend the lead here. Will can't get the first one to go. Just This rim has been causing havoc all bread, I'm telling you. It's been rolling, rolling, and rolling. Nothing's dropping. Off the front of the rim there, good rebound by Ty Thompson. We're going the other way. Martin, see if they can cut into this lead here. Will Summers up top, finding his man. Cooper McKechnie, right-hand drive, but we have a foul on St. Joe's. 12 seconds remaining on the shot clock. Should get reset to 14 here. And it does. Shot clock at 14. Ty Thompson with the inbounds on the baseline for Martin. Taken away by Will Stanson on the inbounds. Nice steal there. We read the play really well. Will looking for Eli. Set up the offense. Martin not making it easy for him. Eli with a nice left-hand drive into the paint. Can't get it to go, but who else but Asher Elstad, Mr. Double-Double, with the rebound. Gets his own rebound. Gets fouled on the shot. He's going to the line. Shooting two. Mr. Double-Double has had a quiet game, but he is the rock that holds this team together. Asher Elstad. Asher with a good first one. Sending the lead to four here. Asher off the back rim, fighting for the rebound. Looks like it was off of Asher. Going to be Martin Ball down four here. Three minutes, 20 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Ty Thompson left hand drive into the paint. Fouls on number 11, Corbin Andres. Offensive fouls called. Going the other way for St. Joe's. Eli Kohler finds Will Stanson, pump fake in the corner. Not there, back up to Eli. Looks like a 2-3 zone for Martin now. Eli swings, finds Will Stanson, gets his own offensive rebound on the three. Offensive foul, put an elbow in to clear some space. Both refs calling it simultaneously. You're not going to get away with that one. Martin Ball. Man defense by St. Joe's here. Eli taking on Ty as it has been all game. Left hand drive, gets his defender up in the air, can't get the call. Good rebound there by number 12, Corbin Andres. Swings it out, big three, can't get it to go. Rebound, Will Stianson. Will in traffic gets fouled from behind there. Foul on number seven, Will Summers. That is the third foul for Martin in the quarter. St. Joe's has four, one more, and Martin goes into bonus. Down low, Asher Elstad looking, trying to find his man. Will Stianson recovers in the corner. 12 seconds remaining on the shot clock. Will pump fake, swings it over. Javin Galara attacking the 45. Asher Elstad in the corner. Asher gets contact, loses the ball, no call. Going the other way, though, we have a turnover for Martin. As they say, ball don't lie. Going to be St. Joe's ball here. Turnover, Asher Elstad had his pass deflected. 
Good take here. Nice try. Lucas guys are trying to hook up Ty Thompson. Ty can't get it to go up and over the rim or going the other way. Eli Kohler crossover at half. Pseudo trap, offensive foul. It's a charge to Eli Kohler. That trap was uh, just set just over half. Very tricky there by Martin. They've uh, retracted it a bit, and it was a very uncomfortable area. Eli tried to dribble through, and good charge taken there. Swings over, finds Cooper McKechnie. Cooper finds Lucas Geisler. Turnover, Will Stianson going the other way for St. Joe's. Will up and off the glass, yes. 44-38 for St. Joe's, two possession lead now. Tie being worked on, swings it over, finds Cooper McKechnie. Cooper with the three, can't get it to go. Battle down low, Asher Elstead comes away with it. Asher leading the fast break, has a guy on both sides. Finds Nemo Arnold, goes up and off the glass. Nice, giving finish there. Asher leading the break, finding Nemo underneath the net. Nemo up and off the glass, and we have an eight point lead here for St. Joe's. Ty Thompson dribbling baseline, nowhere to go. Deflected by Will Stianson, out of bounds, gonna be Martin Ball here. Eight point lead extended. St. Joe's really uh, had a slow start, but has really picked it up. They were down big, 21-13, uh, I believe, or 21-12. Went on a run, went up 25-21, to 21, and has never looked back. Martin has it in them, though. They have some good shooters and great leader in Ty Thompson as he is in the paint here and finds his teammate, Cooper McKechnie. Cooper goes up and off the glass, can't get it to go, but cleaned up by Ty Thompson. We're going the other way, 46-41. They're still very much in it. We have a lot of basketball left, eight minutes. These Brit quarters go by fast, but they don't go by too fast, especially when you're having a great game like this. Foul on the ground, Cooper McKechnie picking up the foul. That is the fourth foul on Martin. Sub coming into the game, Eli Kohler coming back into the game for Javin Galara for the Guardians. 46-41, 15 seconds on the shot clock, one minute remaining in the third quarter. Will Stance and pump fake can't get it. Good double here by Martin. Swings Nemo Arnold. Over to Eli. Eli through the gap. Over to the corner. Asher Elstead for three. A little short on it, but he's fighting for the rebound. Coming away with it is Lucas Geisler. Lucas in transition. Swings it over. Finds his man. Chance to skull truck. Can't get it to go. Lucas looking inside. Fighting Caden Coletta. It looks like it's out of bounds, and it's going to be St. Joe's ball. 36 seconds remaining here. Good pass inside. Great look there to Jackson Arn up and off the glass. 48-40. Ty Thompson, 26 seconds remaining in this third quarter. He's got the ball being guarded by Eli Kohler. Looks like he wants to use the whole thing. Not gonna give St. Joe's another shot this corner. One on one, Ty Thompson driven the left-handed. He's very comfortable going left. Four seconds, turnover. St. Joe's going the other way. Nemo's running with Asher. Asher to Nemo, up and off the glass. Three seconds remaining. St. Joe's with the bucket. Ty's throwing it up, but we are out of time. Costly turnover there. St. Joe's with the uh, nice two-man game between Asher Elstad and Nemo Arnold again. We have a six-point lead. Sorry, uh, correction to the score. 48-40, St. Joe's up. Sorry, 50-40. to The bucket must have gone up on the wrong side. Our apologies. 50 to 40 for St. Joe's, 10 point spread off of that transition layup. And we have a great game, all Saskatchewan battle going back and forth here. Stay tuned for the fourth quarter, followed by Riffle versus Carlton, another all Saskatchewan battle between two heavyweights. We'll watch those juggernauts duel it out next. You're with Mac Attack in the booth, don't go anywhere.
And we have Nemo Arnold inbounding the ball here to Javin Galara. Javin swings down to the corner. Beginning of the fourth quarter action here. Will Stianson up top. Javin Galara, right hand drive. Good defense there on this zone by Martin. Ty rips at it. Corner pass to Nemo Arnold. Off the back rim, can't get it to go, but Will Stianson with the offensive rebound. Good post penetration defense there on this Martin zone, not allowing it from the top. Nemo lets another one fly. Great arc, can't get it to go. Big rebound by Ty Thompson. Up and over his teammate there, snagging it away. See Martin cut down on this lead here. 10 point lead for St. Joe's. Trying to go inside to Cole Thompson, taking away on the deflection. In the corner, Carson Fox for three. Yes, sir. 50 43, just like that. Foul there by number three, Carson Fox. Asher Elfstead in the corner for the ball with St. Joe's. Jackson Arn passes Javin Galara. Javin eyes up a three. Can't get it to go off the glass. Off of St. Joe's number six, Jackson Arn. We're going to go the other way with Martin Ball. Martin down seven here. Ty's like, someone please come inbound the ball with me. Carson Fox hustles back. Eli Kohler off to start the quarter here for St. Joe's. See if Ty Thompson can take advantage of it. He's had Eli on him the whole game. DHO here. Will Summers inside to Cole Thompson. Cole working on Asher, swings it out. Ty Thompson, eight seconds on the shot clock. Nice, great arc on it, can't get it to go, but Cole Thompson with the rebound over Asher. Up and off the glass, can't get it to go. Great defense inside. Excellent defense by Asher, but it's still Martin who's coming away with it. Slips through the, oh, through his wickets. And it landed on the line there. Looked like that's a back and over. Very close call, but the ref was right there to see it. Turnover. We're going the other way. St. Joe's ball. Eli Kohler checking into the game for Javin Galara. He'll probably be out here for the remainder. Try to close this out here. Eli being met up high by Will Summers on defense. Screened by Jackson Arn. Eli tries to shoot the three, pump fake, swings it over to Asher Elstad. Asher has a nice looking stroke, but it went off the front and the back of the rim and rolled out. Ty Thompson surveying the floor, being picked up by Eli Kohler, swings it to the corner here. Nice drive by Adam Newton. Adam swings it up, finds Will Summers. Drive into the paint, met with a foul on number eight there. Will Stianson. First foul of the quarter for St. Joe's. 14 seconds remaining on the shot clock. Martin Ball on the baseline. Ty finds Cole Thompson. Swings up. Finds Will, Will Summers. Into the corner. Ty pump fakes. Up and over his defender. Nice mid-range jumper. Created that himself off the pump fake dribble drive. One dribble. 50 to 45 St. Joe's here. St. Joe's with the ball. Six minutes remaining here in game seven. A Brit 53. Nemo Arnold right hand drive through the paint. Nemo up and over the defenders, and he gets it to go. Good right-hand drive, nice high finish. 52-45, extending the lead. Will Summers here, left-hand drive. Up, off the rim, can't get it to go. It looks like it was off of St. Joe's player. It's going to be Martin Ball. No, it's going to be St. Joe's Ball. Five and a half minutes remaining. Seven-point lead for St. Joe's. Great all Saskatchewan battle. Will Summers guarding... Eli Kohler, who swings it over to Nemo Arnold. Nemo pump fake on the three. Can't get it to go, but he's driving the lane again. No good. Seven seconds remaining. Didn't hit the rim. Again, no rim, but it's a defensive rebound. Ty Thompson finding his teammate Carson Fox on the fast break. Good hesitation. Gets around Nemo Arnold, but he can't get around the rim. Foul on the play. Happened baseline. Was it Will Sneansen? And it was. Or was that number six, Jackson Arn? Jackson Arn picks up the foul, second foul for St. Joe's. Martin will go to the line and shoot two here. Five minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, seven point lead. Let's see if Carson Fox can dip into that lead a little. First one's a little heavy, he'll make an adjustment. I'm sure he'll be fine on the second. Just off the back rim, can't get it to go. Good looking stroke on Carson. 
52-45, seven point lead, St. Joe's with the ball. Screened by Jackson in the corner, Eli going baseline, he's got nowhere to go, swings to the opposite corner, Nimoy swings it up to Will Stiance, and Will, big three, a little out of his range on the contest there. Turnover going the other way, Martin Ball. Ty Thompson not wasting any clock. Doesn't start till he touches. Smart play. He's got the matchup he wants. He doesn't have any space though. Good look inside to Adam Newton. Beautiful pass. Thompson gets him up and out of his shoes. Asher L said on the foul there. Thompson just won a little pump fake. Took the 6'8 man right up and out of his shoes. First free throw for Cole Thompson just off the left side. These free throws becoming crucial here for Martin. Late in the game, down seven. They've missed the last three. Make that four becoming a factor here. Seven point game, four and a half minutes remaining. Fourth quarter. Swing over, Asher into the corner, finds Eli. Eli goes left hand drive through the paint. Two steps up and off the glass. Beautiful finish by Eli Kohler. Didn't take long. We're going the other way here. Nine point lead. Ty Thompson setting up the offense, directing traffic. One on one with Eli, into the lane, gets the defender up in the air and draws the foul. Foul on number one, Eli Kohler shooting two. Ty Thompson. That is the fifth foul for Eli Kohler. He is fouled out of the game, Javin Galara coming back in. I wonder if this makes a difference here. Martin has to try to take advantage of the point guard being out of the game. See if they can uh, attack and score here. They're going to the line. The line has not been kind to them in the last couple minutes. I'd love to see them make an adjustment and come back here. First attempt coming up here for Ty Thompson. Big free throws. Just a little short. They need this one. And a little short again, but his teammate Adam Newton getting the rebound up and off the glass. And that was huge for the Martin Monarchs, that excellent effort by Adam Newton to get that rebound off of the free throw miss. Put two points up on the board, and it's like he made both. We have a 54-47 lead here. Just a reminder, the point guard for St. Joe's is out of the game. Just fouled out, but Javin Galara, his replacement, finds his teammate here. Great play by Thomas Jewell to put it up and off. Going the other way, Martin. Adam Newton again battling down low. And we have a foul on Martin. Second foul of the quarter, three and a half minutes remaining. It's going to be baseline St. Joe's ball with a nine point lead. Timeout St. Joe's. We'll be right back with Mac Attack in the booth. Don't go anywhere. Three and a half minutes left. Close game, single digits. We'll be right back with some Brit action. And you're back with Mac Attack in the booth. Nine point game, 56-47 in this all Saskatchewan battle. Three and a half minutes. Football there. Coming out of the timeout, we have Martin with a full court press. Needing to get some turnovers. Try to cut this lead. Three and a half minutes remaining. St. Joe's only one foul away from bonus here. 
see if they can pick it up on this press. Will Stianson at half, he breaks it, drives it to the paint, swings it over. Asher Elsad loves his three, pump fake, he knows, gets him up out of his shoes, a little short though. Great rebound down low, but it comes away with it is Ty Thompson. Ty thought he saw a man, decided against it. There he is, he's on the baseline. Good block from behind there by Thomas Jewell. He's having a great game, a quiet great game for St. Joe's. Oh, fast break, Ty Thompson, Ty. Can't get it to go. Will did just enough. And a great block by Asher Elstad. Ty with a three in the corner. Can't get it to go, but he is fouled. He's going to shoot three here. And that is a big deal. Ty going to th shoot three, under three minutes. Can he cut the lead to six here with three made threes? Will Stianson with the foul. And Martin will be shooting bonus for the last three minutes of the game here, as that was the fifth foul on St. Joe's in the quarter. Just a little short here. Martin down eight. And for my count, they have missed their last seven free throws. And that is a killer. Well, the first one was uh, just a little short. The second one, uh, just a little short. Let's see if he can make the adjustment here. But he does. Gets it to go. Eight point game. But you got to think that they've missed seven out of their last eight. Oh, big foul here. Foul by Corbin Andres on Asher Elstad. And Asher goes flying into the stands. Apologizes. We had a Shaq moment here. Look out. The big man's coming in. Nemo swings up to Javin Galara on the inbounds. Two minutes, 45 seconds remaining. Big turnover there. Martin coming the other way now. Can't have these turnovers late in the game. Ball control means everything. Into the corner. Nice dribble drive. Will Summers inside. Adam Newton up and off the glass. We got a six point game, and here's the full court press again. Will Stanson back to Asher. Asher looking ahead. Nice find. Javin Galara. The ball is safely over half now. Looking for traps in the corner, and there it is. This is that zone that they play. Good job by Martin. Will Stanson finds Nemo Arnold. Nemo with a three. Oh, big three by Nemo Arnold to extend the lead to 59-50 here. Two minutes remaining. His team needed that. Nice left-hand drive back through the legs. Crossover again into the paint. Nice play there between Will Summers and Ty Thompson. And they're right back, 59-52. Nice score, only took 12 seconds. Good steal there. Up and off the glass. Yes, great steal by Cooper McKechnie. And the, the heat is on, 54-59. This full-court press putting in work. Almost get a five count. Five count, sorry. Asher Elstead comes in and saves their... Bacon, Will Stianson, they break the press. Asher driving, 15 seconds, finds his man, kicks out, Will Stianson off from Thomas Jewell. Will can't get it to go, but Asher, big rebound there. That offensive rebound was huge, but Ty Thompson is the one who comes away with it in the end. Ty driving on Nemo Arnold, takes it in against Will Stianson, and we have a hold. 59-54, five-point game. Shooting two here. Foul on number two, Nemo Arnold. Just made a huge three on the other end. 59-54, really great game here. They're saying it wasn't a basketball play. It's going to be two shots and possession. This is monstrous for everyone watching at home. Ty needs to make these to cut the lead to one possession, and they will have the ball. First one coming. Cannot get it to roll. Up and off that front rim once again. You have to imagine Ty Thompson been playing all of yesterday and all of today. Perhaps his legs are a little a little gone, but he finds the strength and he makes the adjustment and he knocks it down. We have a 59-55 game. Four-point game, and we have a timeout by the Martin Monarchs. It's going to be their ball when we come back. Game seven, don't go anywhere. We have a close one, 59-55. All Saskatchewan battle. You're with Mac Attack in the booth. We'll be right back.
And you're back with Mac Attack in the booth. 94 seconds remain in regulation. Four point lead. Martin in bonus here. Their ball, 14 seconds on the shot clock. Up top, Adam Newton. Ty Thompson, 4 3. Ty Thompson, 4 3. We have a one point game. St. Joe's putting that. Oh, we have a turnover. We're going the other way. St. Joe's got caught. Ty Thompson off of the cleanup. Can't get it to go. That full court press by Martin putting in work in the last couple minutes here. Ty with an early three. Good defense by Asher Elstad. Rebound by Javin Galara. Javin with the turnover there. Foul is being called. It is on number two, Nemo Arnold. Foul is on number two, Nemo Arnold. And that is five fouls for Nemo Arnold. He is also fouled out of the game. Arnold and Kohler both fouled out. Number three coming in, Luke Singh. We have a one point game. St. Joe's with the lead here. But Martin with that full court press been causing havoc at the line. Number 11, Corbin Andres. And it rolls in. We have a tie game, 59-59. Going to the line, of course, because Martin was in bonus there to take the lead. Corbin Andres at the line. Just off the back, Asher Elsa with the rebound. One minute, seven seconds remaining, 59-59. This all Saskatchewan battle has turned out to be a thriller. Asher swings to the corner. Javin Galara can't hold on to it. We have a turnover here. Less than a minute remaining, Martin. Martin has the, lead, uh, has the tie, and we have the advantage. And let's see if St. Joe's can get it back. Good full court pressure by Javin Galara. Coming up the right side there, number 11, Corbin Andres. Corbin swings it over, finds Ty Thompson, who's been great all game. Into the corner, Adam Newton. Back to Ty Thompson. Ty, a little short, but he gets his own rebound, offensive rebound. No shot clock reset, but he finds his man inside. Huge block by Asher Elstad. Big, big play in the game here. Asher getting caught by the press on the way up, but he dribbles right through both. And he picks up the foul. It's going to be the. Foul on number 11 by Martin. That's their fourth foul. One more and they go to bonus. Both teams would be in bonus at that point. 16 seconds on the shot clock. Up top, Asher Elstad into the corner. Will Stianson will dribble drive. Nowhere to go. 12 seconds on the shot clock. Great block down low. Great block by Corbin Andre to save the points there. 20 seconds on the shot clock. We have a two second differential. Ty Thompson driving into the lane, up and over Will Stianson, but he's not up and over Asher Elstad. Asher goes behind the back, 14 seconds remaining. Asher spinning into the lane, up and off the glass, but it's the side of the backboard. Will Stianson, offensive rebound, eight seconds left, seven seconds left, six. Will with the right hand drive, being guarded by Ty Thompson. Will at the buzzer, can't get it to go. Offensive rebound, no, blocked. Great play and we are going to overtime. A little bit of extra free basketball for you guys here. Oh, we have a cramp. No, uh, looks like number five, Cooper McKechnie, might have taken one in the in the pills there. Never feels good. Never feels good to see that. Hope he's going to be okay for overtime here. They need him. What a cl what a comeback by Martin. All Saskatchewan battle. I wouldn't want anything else except for more of it, and that's exactly what we're going to get. 59, 59, going to overtime. Stay tuned. Mac attack in the booth. Be right back.
And we are back. Grit basketball action. 59-59 regulation wasn't enough for this all Saskatchewan battle. We have three minutes up on the clock. Let's go. Offensive foul called. I believe it was on number five. Cooper McKechnie must have been on a legal screen. I missed it. It was on the other side of the court here, but we're going the other way. St. Joe's ball. Full court press still put on by Martin. It worked really well at the end of the quarter there. And it works again. Ty Thompson, ooh, took a knee to the hamstring, grabbed it, but I think he's going to be okay. Hopefully he doesn't cramp up here. Cooper McKechnie looking in, finding his man. Will Summers with the drive. Can't get it to go. Good rebound. Javin Galara. Javin looking for his man on the fast break. Ooh, Will Stianson comes away with it, but it was a close one. Will looking, trying to find Asher. Finds Asher at the top. Asher met by good defense there by Will Summers to poke it away from Asher. Asher driving into the lane. He's out of control. It's out of bounds, but it's out of bounds on Martin. Eight seconds remaining. St. Joe's ball, their ball on the baseline. Javin Galara gets it in on the five count. Seven seconds. Turnover, Ty Thompson going the other way. Ty Thompson with his teammate. Up. Nice play. Ty Thompson to Will Summers. Will up and over the defender and off the glass, and they have a two-point lead. Will Stianson over to Javin Galara. Javin being met by the, the press. Turnover there. Ty Thompson can't get it to go. Good rebound by Martin. Asher Elsa with the block up and off the glass. But it's a save by Martin. We're going the other way. Swings it over to the corner. Ty Thompson, 20 seconds on the shot clock, but he lets it fly up and off the rim. Asher Elsa battling for it. He's giving it everything he's got, and they're going to call foul here. It looks like it's going to be on number seven, Asher Elstead. Both teams in bonus. So Cooper McKechnie will be shooting two here, trying to extend the lead. Just a little short. Martin having some troubles with the free throws. I'm sure they're going to talk about it when they review the tape of this game. But late in the game, they missed a lot of free throws. Luckily, they were able to put themselves in this position to be up three in overtime. 62-59. That full court press putting in work. Will Stianson gets fouled on the dribble drive going baseline. Oh, sorry, sideline. My apologies. And with that foul, he's going to shoot two because both teams are in bonus. Going to the line for two. Will Stianson. Foul on number five, Cooper McKechnie. That is foul number five on Cooper McKechnie. He'll be coming out of the game. Coming in for him will be number three, Carson Fox. Good game, Cooper. Will Stianson trying to cut this lead down from three. A little heavy on the first one. See if he makes the adjustment. And he does. We have a two-point game. St. Joe's down two. Martin leading 62-60. Minute 40 remaining here in overtime. Game seven, Britt 53. Playing on the B side. Martin Monarchs versus St. Joe's Guardians. Swings to the corner. Good look for three. And he gets it to go. Number 11, Corbett Andres. He's come on late, and he's been big for his team. The turnover by Ty Thompson here. Up and off the glass, and it's a seven-point lead just like that. And we have a timeout coming for St. Joe's. Seven-point lead, Martin up. St. Joe's not able to deal with this full-court full court press by Martin late in the game. Their point guard being fouled out, as well as their guard, Nemo Arnold, hurting. Martin taking full advantage. Halfway through this overtime, we'll be right back with Mac Attack just after this timeout.
And you're back with Mac Attack in the booth, minute 24, game seven, Brit 53, 67 60 for Martin over St. Joe's. All Saskatchewan battle. You're here in overtime. The big difference being the full court press put on by Martin near the end. They were down nine. That full court press put them right back into it. Turnover. Ty Thompson going the other way. Ty Thompson up and off the glass. Nine point game. These turnovers from St. Joe's, and Ty Thompson has shoved them all into the net. Asher Elstad, that ball is deflected. Thomas Jewell swings it out, finds Javin Galara, pump fake on the three, takes it in. Great block by Ty Thompson, showed him the ball, and he sent it into the bleachers. 12 seconds remaining. Great defense there. 69 60 for Martin. They have the energy and the momentum. Can they hold on to it? Thomas Jewell swings it over. Finds his man Luke Singh into the corner for Asher Elstad. He's got a great stroke, can't get it to go. Great rebound there by Corbin Andres. He's having an excellent end of the game here. Carson Fox breaking through, cutting in, finding his man Will Summers. Will pulling it back, burning some time on the clock. Will up to Ty Thompson. Ty knows that he's got a burn clock. Ten seconds remaining. Shot's got to come soon now. Crossover beats Asher Elstad into the quarter. Carson Fox can't get it to go. Didn't hit rim, should be no shot clock reset. Here comes the shot clock. There it is. Good job by the table to notice that it did not hit rim, did not reset shot clock, and we are going to go the other way here. 30 seconds, nine point game. St. Joe's is going to need a, a bit of a miracle here. Full court press put on by Ty Thompson. Javin Galara swings it over, down low. Asher Elsa for three, can't get it to go. Ty Thompson comes away with the rebound, and that should be the end of the game. Thank you all for joining us for Brick Game 7 here. Very exciting finish. Overtime game in this all Saskatchewan juggernaut battle. And stay tuned for Game 8 between Riffle and Carlton. Another all Saskatchewan battle. This is Mac Attack in the booth. Don't go anywhere. Lots of great Brick basketball to go. We're only about halfway through the day. Stay tuned. Come on down to the Brit Festival or the Brit, uh, Brit Tournament, sorry. And uh, come check out the concession. Come buy some merch. Come check out the games. I'm about to have the special guest show up here, Rick Ricochet. He'll be joining me for the second game here. See you soon. Mac Attack in the Boots signing out.